first of all, before I even get into what my man Bizzino said, you know, I just wanted to say this first. I'm one of the people who misses Benzino and Althea from Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. I think they were a an overall good addition to the show. And if I'm not mistaken, Althea was unfortunately, well, only there for one season, right? Which was season three. Now, that's a shame, you know. I really wanted to see how her singing career was going to develop. I know she released a single sometime last year in 2014 and whatnot. And... The only way for me to know what's really going on with these people is by social media, which sucks, man. You know, I want to see them on TV, and I want to see Benzino get those extra checks. You know, he's been around for a while. He's helped a lot of people. He's done a lot of things. He's did a lot. Of, he's done a lot of living. I mean, Benzino's had his Eagles had a porno in a bathtub. He's been shot by his own cousin at his mother's funeral. He's owned a couple of magazines. Benzino done done it all. He battled Eminem. Ooh, Benzino done done some living, boy. But anyways, he said something really, really interesting on Instagram the other day. And I just had to make a video about it and give my opinion. So, Benzino said, and I quote, Oh, now I know why Jocelyn mentioned my name last episode and why Stevie had his garbage artist make a diss track. You see, Stevie and Joss told the powers that be to get rid of us. All that Zeno made threats was all lies. The whole cast was screaming on Stefan, Mona, and every other producers. But that was because of all the pressure and underhanded shit that everybody goes through. Nah, they thought Stevie and Joss were the sole reason for the record-breaking success of Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, and they gambled and lost. This season premiere did 1.9, which is 4 million viewers. Last episode did 1.3, 2 million viewers. I get it. They need Benzino to stay relevant because their storyline is tired. It's sad because we could have fixed it and been bigger than before. But greed, fame, and ego fucked up a great thing. Now the super producer and Puerto Rican princess are desperate and under pressure because they can't deliver. End quote. Okay, so here's the deal. I don't think that the ratings dropped because Benzino wasn't there. Love you, Benzino. I'm sorry, but I don't think that's the reason why they dropped. I think the reason why they dropped is because, for one thing, people tuned in to see what was going to happen this season. The gist of it is that pretty much nothing's changed. It's the same old shit. I think people were getting tired of seeing the same thing. You know, Love and Hip Hop became as popular as it did because stuff was happening that people haven't seen before. Like, like when Peter Guns on Love and Hip Hop in New York popped up with mirroring the quote-unquote side chick which of course she wasn't the side chick come to find out she was the main chick and whatnot it's really crazy stuff like that that makes people want to tune in now this whole thing with stevie 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 jocelyn with her silly accent and her stupid shenanigans and the stupid little catchphrases that she uses that shit is really getting old really fast and i remember people saying you know that the atlanta version is their favorite version i'm like that's interesting because if i'm not mistaken yeah, the Hollywood version was even better than the Atlanta version. Yeah, my favorite is the New York version, then the Hollywood version, then the Atlanta version. And I always thought to myself that that should be how the ratings go. You know, New York, then Hollywood, then Atlanta. But if I'm not mistaken, Atlanta was in the number one spot. A lot of it has to do with the fact that Jocelyn Hernandez is willing to, as they say, sell their soul to get her popularity and to make money and whatnot and you know i mean that's up to her but you know there's certain things that have been done on the atlanta version that just really rubbed me the wrong way like when jocelyn had an abortion on tv like as if she's tammy roman or somebody you know it's sick shit like that that they put on the show that makes me think that somebody behind the scenes has a direct connection with Satan or something. It's like somebody really just doesn't care except for about themselves and bottom line. You know, there's some real soulless individuals involved with the show. No matter what anybody tells me, you know, there's certain things you should not allow on TV. Jocelyn's been acting like an animal. It's a shame that Benzino had to punch her to get her off of his girl and whatnot. I mean, she was attacking people sitting down. Stevie J didn't even want to get physical. He was just... I'm talking about the reunion of season three, which got Benzino and Althea unfortunately kicked off. 
at the end of the day, Stevie didn't even want to really get physical with Benzino. You could tell. What he was doing was Stevie was just riding with Jocelyn, being her sidekick, which is the issue. Stevie's supposed to be the star, and he's letting himself be Jocelyn's sidekick. That's where the issues derive from. Here we have a leader who has become a follower because he really, really loves her. I don't believe that Jocelyn really loves Stevie. I think she loves herself. And when she starts to get over herself, then that's what's going to change her. And then maybe we'll have something better to tune into. Because when Jocelyn finally grows up, hopefully it won't be when she's 50 or 60 or 70. Hopefully she'll do it now when she's in her 30s. I know she says she's in her 20s, but I've seen some receipts that say she's more like 38. But anyway, hopefully she'll get her shit together. And then that will be something different. And I'm pretty sure people will tune in to see it. We need to have Jocelyn attitude rehab or something like that. But hey, this is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels and visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Shout out to Bazino and Althea.